Statistics and Excel, correlation baseball statistics. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, there's three tabs down below. Example, practice, blank, example, in essence, answer key, a practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you can get to the heart of the practice problem. The blank tab, blank worksheet, so we can practice formatting these cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tab to get an idea of what we will be doing, where we will be going. We're looking at correlation once again when we're thinking about two different data sets to see if there's a mathematical relationship between them. Are they moving together in some way, shape, or form? In other words, if there is a mathematical relationship, the next logical question would be, is there a cause and effect relationship? If there is a cause and effect relationship, the next logical question would be, what's the causal factor in that relationship? This time, we're gonna be pulling baseball statistics data, and we'll compare a couple things from it. We'll trim down our data set uh, to start off with, and then we're gonna be looking at the age versus the batting average, doing our correlations calculations from that data set, and then we'll do another one looking at the correlation between the batting average and the RBI. So let's go back to the left. Let's go to the blank tab. We're gonna pull our data set. I'm just gonna look up baseball statistics and I find baseball statistics at uh, baseball reference has some information for us. I'm looking at the batting averages for 2022 and I'm gonna see what they have for us down here. So they have it by team. I don't want it by team, I want it by player. So I'm gonna go to the stats by player. And then in this drop down, they say we can drop it down and pull this in. I don't wanna pick the Excel workbook because it gets limited to 500 lines and we want all the lines. So I'm gonna make it into a CSV format and it gives our CSV information down below, which is a comma delimited format. And then I could just copy all this and I should be able to just copy and paste this into our Excel worksheet, hopefully without giving us a virus or anything. This is should I'm um, trusting the site here. It's gonna it's gonna be just good good data. It's just good data right here. We're gonna copy this whole thing. I'm gonna put this over in our worksheet in A1. Right click and, and paste, paste it. it. Let's, Let's paste, paste it. it. Yeah, either, either way is fine. fine. I'm gonna hold control scroll down. Notice it's all in column one here, and it's a mess. But I want to I want to uh, transfer it from a comma delimited data to uh, a table. So to do that, I'm just going to keep that first column highlighted because everything is in the first column. We're going to go to our data up top, and we want to go to the data tools and then text to columns tool. Text to columns. I'm going to say it's going to be delimited uh, delimited charter such as commas. Let's keep that. And then I want to delimit it with a comma. That's the delimiting factor, not, not the tabs. And then down here, you can see it's spacing it out like it looks like it should be. So I'm going to say OK. And then finish it. Finish it. And so there we have it. Now I'm going to call this our data tab. And I'm actually going to make a separate data tab from the, the one that we're going to be working in because we might need to do a little bit more cleaning up of the data from this tab. So I'm gonna double click down here and call it the data blank tab. And uh, so there we have that. And so that looks good. The headers, maybe I'll go up top and make this the header column by going into the home tab, font and insert. And if I go all the way to the bottom by hitting control shift down, let's do it over here, control shift down. Then this last row, they give me a total. I don't really want the total down here. I don't think I did this last time and I kept the totals in there, which wasn't what I wanted to do. Let's delete the totals down here. And so we just have the data. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back up top and we're gonna say, let's insert a table, insert tables. And I'm just gonna insert the table here. And so there is our information. So we've got the name, we've got the age, and so on and so forth. So what I wanna think about is 
is the batting average. That's going to be how many times people get on base in essence. Or what's the what's the uh, what's the percentage of times that they get on base? And let's see if there's a correlation between that and their age over here. So let's pick those two up. So I'm going to pick up. Let's add another tab down here. Clicking on the plus button. I'm going to double click on the tab and call it a blank tab. And then I'll just pull in my data and we'll pull it into this blank tab. So I'm going to go back to our data tab. I'm going to select the entire column uh, of B, which has our names, the entire column of C, which has the ages. And then over here with the batting averages over here, we're going to copy that, all that, copy that. And let's go on over to our blank tab and just paste it on down in column A. We're just going to paste it on down. I think we could just paste it normal and it'll give us our formatting that's fine. I'm going to hold control and scroll up. So there is our data. Now I'm going to format the entire worksheet first and then I'll go back into here noting that these are decimals and these have no decimals. So I'm going to format the entire worksheet and then reformat these two columns to an, an, an appropriate formatting. So I'm going to select the entire worksheet. I'm going to right click on it and we're going to say that uh, let's format the cells and I like to make it uh, currency, negative numbers bracketed, no dollar sign. I'm going to remove the decimals and then add them back as needed. Removing the decimals, OK. And then I'll add the decimals back to this column because we need them in here clearly because that's what the batting average is represented as in this data set. So home tab number group, adding some decimals, decimalizing it. I'm also going to make the entire thing bold because we like to work we like to be uh work in in the bold okay because it, it's better for the screencast you don't have to do that if you don't want to so then let's go ahead and uh do some of our our statistical calculations which we know by heart at this point in time with our actual data but before we do let's clean up our data a little bit let's go to the insert tab up top let's go to the tables and add a table I'm going to put a table around this whole thing. Now note that when we look at this data, the batting average has some blank stuff in it. And also, if people didn't have that many at bats, then you might want to remove the batting averages for those items as well. So I might sort this now by the batting average. And I'm going to say uh, A to Z and then everything